And the next presentation will be made by the well-known Victor Udrov, managing director of the company Rockers. Victor, can you please save a couple of minutes for us? I'll do my best. It's hard to do, you know. Good, ev good evening, dear colleagues, once again. I'd like to save some time because I tried to make a generalized presentation. People speak about Rockers and photo model a lot. I wanted to share brief uh, characteristics about our company, what kind of products we offer. Maybe not all of you are aware of all our products. And as a result, tell you about some of our new interesting uh, products, because my colleagues will follow my presentation after that. Here you can see the brief characteristics of the company Rockers. First of all, it's photogrammetric. Uh, systems and suites. Uh, we work in close cooperation with the suppliers of space data. We do R&D. Here I must uh, answer Jasmine uh, about Yasmin about his suggestions because if we look at all the solutions on the market about the processing of remote sensing data, as you know, there is one part of work related to acquiring the metrics and getting metrical information. Another part of work is about uh, thematic information, topical information, and our business mission is in uh, doing photogrammetric or metric uh, processing of all data available on the market, and as a result, retrieve all the required information in that. So you cannot cover everything. That's why when you speak about our potential co uh, competition like PX4D or Photoscan or other uh, things, each one of those systems is about one set of data. Pix for differences is doing only UAV. We are processing a whole range of space data, which requires a lot of time. Uh, AG Soft, until recently, they are, were also doing only aerial photography, central projection uh, photography, until recently, they didn't have stereo processing. I'm not talking about LIDAR data. There are many specialized products which specialize on laser scanning. So once we were thinking about this, but we realize that we cannot cover all the bases. Now, Rockers, as you can see, you see the number of people, the countries where we work, huge number of images are supplied, and uh, we do a lot of production work. You can see it from this slide. We are going to save some time on that. Here, I would like to say once again, when we speak about Photomod, Photomod is not only a digital photogrammetric system. Aside from the classical product range well known to all. We have some specialized products like, for instance, Photomod Conveyor, and my colleagues will speak more about this. This is a specialized solution for big computers like cluster solutions with the active use of parallel computation and processing with the attempt to do fully automated single button pressing solutions. So there is a well-known product, Photomod Geo Mosaic, which we sell specifically for seamless uh, ortho mosaics. Some products were already mentioned. There is a specialized system called Photomod Radar. Some questions were asked about this. We, They start to ask questions about uh, the processing of radar data, and tomorrow we'll have a dedicated presentation about this. And we also have a quite a lot of uh, useful and, most importantly, free of charge utilities and uh, applications that you can download from our web page. They're free of charge, but can be very helpful. Uh, we have localization in different languages. This uh, language is quite popular related to the activity of our dealers and friends. Uh, our colleagues from Hexagon love this slide each time because they've been listening to us for 25 years and they say that this slide is the most beautiful of all. If we had time, I would have told you about many users and their specificities, but I can simply say that uh, we are quite active the world over. In Russia, perhaps, in Russia, the photogrammetric system, not perhaps, but for sure, it is the most popular because m most of the companies from Russia are Roscosmos, the Roscartography companies, um, uh, Ministry of Defense complex. They use uh, actively our photogrammetric systems. And as I mentioned, our mission is to do full-scale photogrammetric processing with the use at the uh, in the pipeline all the data, work with the space images and the radar images and the central projection imaging is supported both aerial photos, as support. we support ADS cameras and vision map. 
which have their own specificities. And as a result, we can generate all the required information, which might be retrieved as a result of photogrammetric processing. As long as the photo mod is a universal system, I'm not going to say that uh, we are doing all sorts of photogrammetric processing and can retrieve all sorts of information. Briefly about the products, which we do not often speak about, mostly we speak about our full photogrammetric system, but we have other systems also. Photomod GeoMosaic is used quite actively. This is a product to build uh, seamless mosaics, all, of course, in automatic mode, and we have quite a number of users of this mosaic. Photomod Radar is a huge system. It's a whole separate set of data, and radar imagery is very interesting, especially space imagery from radar is becoming ever so popular, and Alexander Chikurin tomorrow will tell you more about these products in our current space day. Photomod UAS has been mentioned a number of times. We try to make a simplified version. I think it is uh, wrong to say simplified, uh, optimized version for UAS. In many regards, we've used the results of our from our full-fledged photomod system, but the main difference is to try to develop a product for a different price niche and make it uh, more automatic. Because as you know, when it became popular to use UASs, and a lot of people started to enter this market, many of whom didn't study in MIGAIC, they didn't have the professional photogrammetric uh, education, and that's why uh, we decided to provide them with uh, less sophisticated products for processing. Speaking about automation, here on this slide you can see the main uh, photogrammetric operations which are used for photogrammetric processing. Most of them are fully automatic. Of course, all of us realize that sometimes some editorial correction is required, but it depends on the type of uh, end product that you are working for. In the modern development of photogrammetry, we are working with a huge number of images. That is why we require, and the development of uh, com computers allows us to do parallel distributed processing, and we work a lot on distrib on distribution of operations, uh, making it multi-cluster, multi-core systems, even working in a computer system, the computer network to s simplify and to speed up the operations. Now, our approach to photogrammetry is like a set of operations, li like these building blocks. Out of these building blocks, one can build almost any photogrammetric system, which would be focused on a fully automatic processing. More recently, we're more often starting to use the term chain or conveyor, which means that, for instance, the potential user wants to process only space data of uh, a particular type, type and get only one type of product. And out of this building blocks, one can build an automatic chain, single button push solution. More recently, speaking about the conveyors and building such chains, for the mode conveyor is a typical example. As you know, there is Generation Z. Uh, people, youngsters, do not want to, well-developed, civilized young people don't want to think that there are difficult things, that they need to sit down and study some kind of software with many difficult interfaces. So an ideal solution for them is give me a number of buttons so I can press these buttons and get the end result. This is the Generation Z wants to want to get everything and quite quickly. And the modern development of um, photogrammetry allows us to satisfy such whimsical wishes and create such uh, chains or systems targeting serious processing systems and working in a fully automatic way. And Dmitry Kochergin will tell you more in his subsequent presentation. Another critical topic that we are addressing is cloud, cloud computation. 
a completely new computing capability is required for modern photogrammetry. Very few companies can afford expensive pieces of machinery. The internet, on the other hand, is um, developing at a crazy step, crazy pace. So we enter clouds, starting to work with uh, service providers. Mr. Session will tell you about what we do in this area. Tomorrow, Mr. Reisman is going to share with us a new company that he set up and uh, the cloud-based services that uh, it is providing. Let's not forget that photogrammetry is very automatic, but on the other hand, stereo vectorization is still needed. So if we permeate the cloud, how can we do stereo processing? This is called a delicate stereo client or a fine stereo client, which means a remote user without having to install any expensive hardware connects to the cloud and um, is doing stereo processing. You will have detailed account of that. And one of the recent achievements that we came up with, we're not sure what it can be used for. There is a, a congress of cadastro engineers taking place in uh, Russia, where one of our engineers will make a talk about uh, cheap technology costing several uh, thousand rubles, not to exceed fifty dollars. So Mr. Sechin will show you this is actually an, in, uh, an entire photogrammetric station that has been implemented in a smartphone. And finally, free apps. Use them. Download them. There are different kinds of apps here. Some of them may come in handy in uh, doing expensive projects. Uh, don't forget to download Photomod Geo Calculator. Because tomorrow night, if you want to win a serious prize, you may need it. And a few words, general remarks about where photogrammetry is headed at. We need to bear in mind a few considerations. Who are the end users of the processing? Let's say there is a 3D model. So each supplier should have a capability to create 3D models or vector points. No sensors come online. Not UASs. I mean, it's pretty standard. Take a cheap camera, mount it on a cheap plane. It has little to do with photogrammetry. It's more about being cost effective. But there are really n brand new sensors. And uh, we need to explore them. Development of computing powers affects uh, photogrammetry in a significant way. So we try to take into account all these aspects to be in line with the global best practices. As I draw to a close of my talk, I will say again that photogrammetric technology progress depends on evolution of remote sensing sensors and platforms. 
increase of hardware productivity and new efficient algorithms development. What we need to do is to automate all photogrammetric operations. This is our number one goal. Cloud technology is worth mentioning. The cloud technology going through a boom phase is likely to m modify the concept of photogrammetry uses. I mean, y you can, you don't have to purchase uh, a full photogrammetric station. You can purchase access rights and do a task in uh, a couple of hours or a couple of days. The world is turning 3D. 3D models vary. What kind of models do we require? A raster, vector models, but we need to create information systems that people will make use of. It could be smart cities, it could be info systems oriented toward users, but they should become a standalone, pro a standalone product. And photogrammetry becomes more affordable and mobile, I hope. Thank you. I think we best we best hold off the questions until the Q and A session.